Hi, I'm Marna and this is a Dolls Rescue Channel and after weeks and weeks and weeks of not, Darren and I went out and had our, our date on Friday, which we usually do on Fridays. We go to bigger towns. Um, we live in a very small town. We do have a Walmart. It's a small Walmart, Walmart, but we don't have, well, we have a Dollar Tree. And then mostly um, mom and pop stores, which I love, make no mistake. But we, we drive about 40 minutes either direction and come to bigger towns that have Hobby Lobbies. And if we go to Columbia, we get uh, Joann's and well, anything. So we went yesterday. We did not have Chinese. We had Golden Corral. It was really good, but not as much um, variety as usual. We were really disappointed. But I had so much fun. We, when Darren and I go, we talk, we laugh, we have a good time. We, people watch, we love that. And man, we had a freak show in Golden Corral, but that's another story. Anyway, I got some fun stuff. I went for fabric, I bought fabric, I've got some projects coming up, and I got some other stuff. Went to um, Hobby Lobby. Look at these cute little hats that are cute for Halloween or just fall. I wanted to put some um, cl hair clips on those for um, Blythe dolls. And I'm wondering how that would fit a Ken. Wouldn't Ken be cute dressed as a scarecrow for Halloween? I thought that would be cute. And then we went by the doll house doll aisle. Oh, actually, I think these were in the clearance. And they had these um, doll hair. Now, I don't normally um, reroute, but when you see things for 62 cents and you're a crafter and you do doll crafts, and I have used the curly hair. This is more of a dark brown. I used black on a Rainbow High doll that I um, restyled. And so I got those 61 and 62 cents couldn't pass it up. They had um, St. Patrick's Day um, ribbon, 99 cents. Could not pass that up. Now I'm stumbling. I needed pony beans. I seem to be making a lot of dark dolls. You know, dark as in dark, scary, spooky dolls. Um, more Irish or St. Patrick's Day ribbon, 49 cents. And what else did I get here? Oh, 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 oh. These are so cute. These were 40% off. And at the end of this video, we're going to take one of these out and see if it'll fit my midi blythe. Now, I know the hat won't, but how cute would that hat be made into a hair clip for a midi blythe? I won't make the hair clip today. But I do want to try that on. I bought two because they were, what, $1.23 in the end, I think. And I told Darren, I got one, and I said, I'm going to kick myself if I don't get more of those. Well, you can't buy them all because it might fit, but I did get two. Um, oh, and I got some chalk for doing face-ups. What else? What else? What else? What else? Here's my fabric. And I got pumpkin fabric. I really like this. I wish it were smaller. I normally sew for Blythe dolls, but I also have been sewing at least once a month for American Girls 18-inch dolls and for my 24-inch Amaya Reign, so this will not go to waste. Um, all the fabrics were on sale. I was quite surprised at the... I'm trying to remember what this was. Uh, I think it was 40% off $6.99. This was $3 a yard. You know I love that shiny stuff. I make leggings for dolls out of these. I love it. You know, I'm I my day was in the 70s, and everybody thinks that people walked around in this kind of outfits in the 70s. They did not. It was just on the movies. Um, I got this and this and this for some projects I'm working on. Went to Walmart. I worked on that. Mermaid. I don't know if you saw the mermaid. I did a collab with uh, Peace Craft Dolls with Tammy Polly and the Tapping Flamingo, uh, Terry Janine. Loved it. It was so much fun. I spent a lot of time on my mermaid, but I went to make her a crocheted ribbon halter. 
And I did not have gold. I made her this uh, uh, little skirt and I wanted to make her two or three tops that went with it. And I did not have gold, which if you saw my ribbon stash, you wouldn't believe I don't have gold either. I have been buying these because Walmart has them for 47 cents and it's three yards, I believe. Um, five yards. Oh, oh, they took a yard out. But at any rate, um, 47 cents, you can't beat it. It's doll size width and it's going up. So you should grab some. Then we went to Joann's. No, oh, you know, I love Joann's. And they had, oh man, they had fall and Halloween print fabrics. This one was not. I bought this one. Uh, I think this one was 20% off, $12.99, 20% off. So it wasn't awful. Um, but it was not on the $5.99 sale. These were. I had some others, but when I got to the register, they did not ring up at, or when I got to the cutting table, they did not ring $5.99. But I was glad to find these small print. I already have these, all three, but I like them and it's getting harder and harder to find not only holiday prints, but small print, the tiny print for the small dolls. So I was really tickled to find that and I always check the patterns. I like to send these out to other YouTubers um, and what I really like is when we do collabs, I have one coming up for AG. I think I have, do I have a pattern left? Uh, maybe not. Anyway, I send out patterns to other YouTubers and then we pick a date, do a collab uh, where we each do the same outfit in any fabrics and any trimmings and they all turn out different and yet the same. It's so fun and you get to know the other YouTubers. So this time I wanted the Barbie size so we could do Blythe or fashion dolls, Barbies, um, any dolls like that. And, and I love these. This is one of my favorite patterns. They only had one and I'm sending this out to a friend in a little Happy Meal. I use this uh, pattern quite a bit. I really like it. Um, and then I got these, which I thought would be fun to do as a collab. I already have this, and I might have some others over there. So I'm going to be asking if you'd like to make a Blythe doll, uh, an outfit using this pattern, and see who's in. This pattern I absolutely love. I have it. I have sent this to friends. In fact, um, Beth Ramston, Tammy Polly, and J Dolls UK and I have done... Uh, this outfit as a collab for Easter. And oh my goodness, did those outfits turn out cute. Everybody, again, different fabrics, different trims, but yet the same outfit. This is one of my favorite patterns. <clears throat> when you buy a pattern in a store for your doll or yourself, the best patterns to get have dresses, skirts, tops, and pants. You can make shorts, uh, capris, pants, panties using that same pattern by adjusting it. You have your top, look, that has a jacket with a hood. This is a good, good pattern to have. Um, <clears throat> I also got this one, already have it, but I thought I'd send it to some friends and maybe we could do a little um, collab with it. I love this. I'm thinking Morticia Adams. Um, I've made that before in black. I really like it. That would be a very fun collab. And then, okay, <clears throat> I have this one, and you look at it and think, well, that doesn't have very much. Actually, if you look, it does. It has this beautiful wedding dress with the train. It has the top and the skirts, uh, several tops and skirts, and it has the pants, and it has a halter top. So you've got summer, fall, winter, pants, a uh, little fairy and the wedding dress. So this is more versatile than you would think at first glance. Um, and then I got this. I thought I'd make something for my bitty babies. We'll see on that. And then I got this because I absolutely loved this little dress. Uh, this is for a 14 inch doll. Um, and I want to see if I can, I need to get my chubby blouse down when things calm down. I'm between two doll shows. And I have sewn and sewn and sewn for doll shows. And then Darren and I ended up sick and we were tired and I 
had to mow, you know, we mow twice a week in the summer. So I'm just really behind, but I wanna bring down my little um, chubby blice and see if I can't make these patterns. I've done it before with the 14 inch. And I thought I'd try this one. So big sale at <clears throat> Joann's, get yourself there. One more thing I wanted to show you, look what Darren made me. This is so cute. This, he, made, he, has made, he took a model and reworked it for my Blythe doll. This fits Daisy or any of my Blythe. And he made this with a piece on the bottom that he modeled, which means pattern, um, that he super glued to it that fits inside. I have a dog basket for my Yorkshire Terrier on my bike and it has an attachment that locks down. So he made the same type of attachment for my bike. Daisy has well over 500 miles riding on my bicycle with me. Daisy is the Blythe I take about everywhere. And um, this is a sturdy little seat the super glue holds well. Well, look what we did. He made this little clip. We got a car from my son and he has um, uh, CB radio microphone holders. You can get those on Amazon. And I said to Darren, this was before I saw car seats for Blythe dolls at all. And I said, I wonder if you could make a car seat and we could get a clip and hang that there for Daisy to sit in because it's a smaller car than we normally drive and there's really no place for her. So that's what he made. And we are going to start selling these in our shop. I need to get some pictures and I need to do a little video on it showing you how it clips in and how it rides. We have a very bumpy driveway. We, we live rural and uh, we have a, a gravel driveway that crosses the Katy Trail and gets pretty bumpy. But rides great, very secure, has a seatbelt. I love them. I love these Midi Blythe dolls. If you are unfamiliar, they have a dial in the back of their head and their eyes go from side to side. I absolutely love them. They have the tiniest bodies and the tiniest feet. Um, uh, there are these little $1 dolls down at the Dollar General, and I buy the dolls for the shoes and the little outfits. Um, Darren actually made these. Aren't they cute? They got a little bunny face on them. Just adorkable. But I wanted to show you, they have a lot of articulation and their heads swivel on a ball. There's actually a ball <clears throat> that their head sits on inside the top of the body. All right, let me show you how tiny these dolls are. This is a Bic pin, an actual Bic pin. That's how tiny they are. When you look at them because of the size of the head, you don't realize how tiny they are. People tell me all the time, I didn't know they were that small until I held one. Yeah, indeed. Okay, this little top <clears throat> should be cut in the front, but because of the belt and because of the little pom-poms, you can see they, didn't, they just shut it like that. I'm gonna cut this up the back, at least the first one. And if this works, I'll probably be buying more anyway. You would think I would do this nice and easy and market and all that, but I'm probably going to be adding snaps. Let's see if we can get her little hands in there without taking them off her body. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Let me pull her hands off. Hate doing that. They come, the little uh, middies come with three sets of hands, the ones on their bodies and two others. Um, I just don't like taking hands, feet, legs off of dolls. It just, it wears out the joints and then pretty soon the doll just falls apart. And when you go to garage sales or thrift uh, shops, you're not getting all the pieces because kids have lost them or they've worn out. See, I don't like doing that. Ah. And these you really have to press in. All right, let's just look at it. Uh, I'll spend a little time on that hand. I'm so heavy handed and I have bear paws. Oh my goodness, is that cute. Oh my, my, wouldn't that be cute with a little pair of gold um, uh, leggings or a little red pair? Oh my gosh, that's cute. All right, let's see how much room we have in the back. 
yes, you could put Velcro snaps would be better. And then you could tuck this under more at the waist and you could actually make that more form fitting. Oh, that's cute. Yes, I will be buying more of these. What else would be cute is a little Christmas skirt, little Christmas print skirt. Oh, you could do so much with that. Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue channel. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.